Hello everybody, my name's Euphoria, and after the resounding success of my Anno 2070 Let's Play, uh, I wanted to come back and play Dawn of Discovery. This is one of my favorite games of all time, and I actually like it better than Anno 2070. Um, so what I wanted to do is go ahead and play my uh, favorite scenario as well as the Master Builder scenario here. Um, so I, I just recently got the Venice Expansion Pack, which adds a bunch of new uh, scenarios and some other various stuff, but, you know, I don't know, it didn't, it, none of it looked that appealing to me at this point, so um, I just want to do the master builder thing here, we gotta, and uh, build a imperial cathedral and set our, settle a bunch of noblemen. In the course of that, um, we'll just have a lot of fun. So Steam is being kind of weird, and they don't, you can't actually buy Dawn Discovery on Steam. Um, there's some, Steam has some uh, policy where developers have to allow Steam access to all the newest patches for a game. And uh, apparently Ubisoft is having problems with their 3.0 expansion pack, or their 3.0 uh, patch, which does some, you know, interface improvements and stuff, and it's not available on Steam, so Steam is not selling it anymore. But I got this on Amazon, so I will link you to uh, the page where I bought it on uh, Amazon. And This uh, island is to be your new home. Thank so you. So if you feel inclined, you can uh, go and purchase this game from so Amazon.com. And the digital downloads on Amazon are actually pretty good there. It's um, like Steam, except without any, you know, DRM or anything. So if you're into that kind of thing, then there you go. All right, so uh, first let's start out building some of these woodcutters' cabins. Uh, I never have enough wood. I always run out. Um, so I'm gonna build a, a lot of them of these. Three is probably sufficient for now. Um, and let's start getting our peasant population going here, so I'll build a marketplace. This island is really good for this uh, scenario. There is a lot of frickin' space. Um, so I'll put my first marketplace right up here. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I think right up there is probably good. We'll start expanding uh, northward first. I have my beautiful lilac colors here, my flag. Um, I used to have, you know, I played a lot of this in 2009 when it when it came out, um, and I had a disc-based version of it, but for I cannot for the life of me find my CD key, so that's why I bought it on Amazon, and just got the gold edition with the you know Venice. I never got the extra Venice stuff ever either, so it's cool to have that now. Um, but as a consequence of that, all the things I had unlocked, like the best color black and all that stuff uh, for the, your player, I do not have that anymore, so I'm kind of starting with nothing at this point. Alright, so we got a good base population of peasants going here. And I really should have uh, rebound my hotkeys before I started this so that I could speed it up, but... Oh well, next time. I'll uh, rebind those hotkeys on the next video. Um, so as you know, if you watched my Anno 2070 Let's Play, the, Let's Play, the uh, pipette tool is my favorite tool in the world. So, um, not having that... I guess it's bound to end, but that's not uh, sufficient. It's not close enough to my WASD hand. My one complaint about... The one thing I like about Anno 27... Well, there's quite a few things I like about Anno 2070, but... Um, one thing that makes it better than Dawn Discovery is the, all the interface enhancements. There are just so many uh, things that make it so much easier to play. Alright, we need fish, so I'm going to set up a fishing dock right here. Because, um, food is important for human life, 
and uh, we want our humans to live, so we got to get them some fish. One thing that I really like about Dawn Discovery over Anno 2070 is the production trees in Dawn Discovery make a lot more sense. Um, like, oh, we want to make tools. Uh, you know, the tools look like a hammer, so we uh, combine wood and iron and we make a tool. Um, as opposed to in Anno 2070, where you want to make tools, so you somehow take iron and building blocks and create a power drill. Um, it's just a little... Like, some of the... Some of the building chains are a little uh, contrived, I think. You need a lot of plastics to make most of those things work, and I just don't see where they're getting all their plastics from. In that game. Um, yeah, that's reasonable. I'm happy with that. Alright, so we got some cider. And just to future-proof us a little Your bit, settlement um, is I'm going to make some more cider. To grow. Oh, yeah. We're growing like nobody's business. You have a true knack for running your settlement. Why, thank you. Alright. So our cider production looks like it's wonderful. Pretty reasonable. Your actions have increased your honor in this region. Yes, I do love myself some honor. Honor is like uh, licenses in Anno 2070. You use it to buy stuff, and instead of the text, you get we get the uh, the Orient people. Um, I don't want to say Oriental because that's kind of racist, but uh, people of the Orient. Um, so once we get that, that'll be, uh, we can spend honor to buy gifts to unlock more buildings for that, I, that's wrong, I don't want that. Uh, we can spend honor to get gifts to unlock more buildings for the Orient. Which is highly necessary in our situation, because we're going to need to get some, uh, special Oriental stuff soon. This guy's really having a, having trouble. Um, he's got too many buildings that he has to get resources from. But our fish is... We're good with fish right now. Wow, we have ropes. They gave us ropes. That's, that's pretty amazing. So tell me, how are things with you? So here's uh, Lord North Burrow. And, um, or Northburg. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> um, he'll eventually give us a ship. I, I think when we get citizens, it's we'll, we'll been get a, a ship. dream of mine to learn more about the Orient. Gaining the Emperor's permission to stay here on the borders of his empire is both an honor and a pleasure. Cool. Good. I'm going to speed it up here until. Oops. I'm going to speed it up here until we get. Um, enough wood to build a chapel. So we need 12 wood. Alright, we're good to go. Okay. So now you can build a chapel. This will give people the religion they so desperately desire. Um, I'm going to put it over here. Because um, I figure that I will expand uh, my people this way, so that'll give a little bit better overlap, I think. Um, I'll probably end up building another one on this side. Now, Some uh, citizens have moved into your city. Excellent. Sometimes it's essential to... Um, again, as always, I like to block ascension rights right when your I get my first person so they don't start using up on my tools before we can get the tool production going. Your settlement's advanced, of course. You alone have the final say on granting sin. Thank you for all that information. All right, so we got hemp, we got stone. Uh, we actually need more citizens before we can really get cracking on this stuff here. I could, I'll talk about this stuff later. Um, but 
think really what's important right now is to get our stone production up and running. So where is there's some stone? Oh, we got a so, witch. You desire our protective magic. Where where is some stone? Do we only have one stone? That would be horrible. We got stone over here. Okay, we got two stone over there. But nothing any closer, eh? That is unfortunate, because I'm going to have to make a really long market uh, chain <laughs> to make this work. It's going to use up lots of tools. Um, so we'll have one here, so we can get access to that salt mine later. Have one over here. It is time to prepare to set sail, but you can have one you right here. Sick, will you? Oh, there's some stone. Okay, I'll just have two. All right. That was annoying, to say the least. <laughs> to have to build all those. Um, all right, stone masons, good. So now we can get our stone production running here. And actually, now that we have a market right here, we can hook up these witches. Which witches? Ah, very good. Thank you. I forgot what they do. Do um, we want two sisters? Maybe. But can? Well, they protect us from the plague, I guess. Hopefully there isn't a plague anytime soon, because that would really screw me over. Um, but more importantly, so I'll let my people advance so that we can have access to um, tools eventually. Um, hemp is also important, but I'd rather get tools running first. Um, so let's just let that grow for now. Um, but in the meantime, we have a ship that we You'll can use. You'll have to shell out a small amount yourself. Sure. I'd be happy to help you. And as always, I Look, will rename my ahoy. flagship Dauntless. All right. So I don't believe we need him. Are you short on tools? I'll gladly sell you something from my supply. One thing that bugs me is you can't queue up commands for ships anymore. Or in Donna Discovery, that's something they added in Nano 2070, and I loved that <laughs> in Nano 20. That's it's just so good. You have so discovered good. a new island. So you just tell someone to go, you know, a ship to go all the way around the map, and it does. It's great. Got some grapes. It's always good. We're going to need some herbs eventually. You have discovered another player's island. Actually, we're running low on tools, so before I go and explore too much here, Hello. let's... Hello. Uh... I'm... I'm Leaf. Hey, should we be friends? Leaf Jorgensen. I think uh, Anno2070 has a callback with uh, Tilda Jorgensen. One thing I've noticed is that the NPCs in this, in Dawn of Discovery, make pretty poor space choices when it comes to, like... Although this looks a lot better than it used to. I don't know how it is anymore, but... Alright, well, he's probably going to be just fine. So I'm going to buy tools, because we're one and running way low on those, from the Empire. and I'll also buy a gift. I accept this trade. With my 50 armor. I never imagined I you would do that for me. For me. Great. <laughs> I don't know why me trading with somebody else made him like me more, but okay. Um, Alright, so, so we're running low on tools. I actually should probably curtail this expansion a little bit. How many citizens do I have currently? 66. The Grand Vizier Maybe 200 is for tool makers. All right, so we'll we'll let them grow a little bit more here. So I bought this gift for uh, the Grand Vizier Al Zahir, and um, basically, as soon as I find find uh, where the Orient starts, then uh, I can he'll give me a ship and allow me to settle down there. Because eventually I'm going to need spices, and you can only get spices 
from the Orient. They're good on faith, they're good on everything, we just need... I guess we might as well start our hemp production. I believe it's two hemp plantations for one weaver's You have discovered Maybe. Corsairs in their hideout. I can't quite... Oh my god, there's Corsairs. I am Hassan bin Said. Right next to me. Corsair and ruler of this water. <laughs> there's Corsairs literally next door to my island. That is... Kind of shitty. <laughs> oh well. We can handle it. That's funny. One thing in this uh, the this game, the ships go way, way slower. Level. Which makes sense. They're sail powered. It's totally, you know, coherent. I'm going to upgrade this warehouse so it has an easier time dealing with all this. And uh, I'll start our hemp production just to make our citizens happy. Um, I kind of don't feel like I have enough space really here. I'll just start with one. So we want one hemp plantation. A new island has been sighted. And I'm going to build that actually over here. Over here. Maybe. No, I don't like that. I'll build it down here. <laughs> this will be my production area for this. Um, okay. So one cool thing about... Uh, I'm pretty sure this works the same way in... Um, Anno 2070, but uh, we don't actually need... Travelers tell the most amazing tales of the Orient. Wouldn't you like to discover it for yourself? We don't actually need to connect our hemp to a road or to the warehouse. We just connect the hemp to the weaver's hut and then connect the weaver's hut to the market building. So, uh, then the weaver set, they'll pick up the hemp and then go and drop, make uh, clothes and then drop off the clothes at the market building. So it's a little bit more space efficient. I believe we might, you might even be able to just make them adjacent to one another, but I can't quite remember. I don't remember if you need a road here or not, but I'm going to put one just in case. You never know. And uh, all farms actually take quite uh, a little while to actually like start producing materials so we'll just uh, see how that pans out for us later and whenever you're ready to start producing tools I would be happy with that ooh here's a big uh, desert island it's always good I mean it seems like maybe the Orient would be down over here maybe up here I'm not quite sure I kind of want to find them as soon as possible, but this, look at all the, f look at how fertile this place is, oh my god. I guess if we're going to settle 10,000 inhabitants, we need, we need uh, all the fertility we can get, but I definitely want to take this island, this island's cool. Wow. That is super cool. And it's pretty close to us, so we can settle, like, up here, and, um... You have some good trade routes right there, although it's going right by the Corsair's lair, so that's going to be a problem. A player has opened up new land. You son of a bitch. <laughs> God damn it. Land sighted. What an asshole. All right, well, I did want to take that island, but I guess I'll take this island. Um... I think I can settle on an island that the NPC has settled on as well, but uh, I don't really want to cause any friction between us at this point. Um, and this should be totally sufficient for our purposes. We, we might need to conquer uh, Leaf over here at some point, because he's a fucking asshole. <laughs> the golden roofs of the Orient Look at how good this island the is. Horizon. I can't believe it. May our future encounters... Oh. Excellent. Ah, have you brought a token of your the people are starting to talk about? All right, so, uh... Marvelous. Al-Zahir has come to trust you. The first... Okay. Usually, uh... Use the building plans I gave you 
to settle in southern regions. This ship okay. shall carry you to new shores, inshallah. All right, I was going to say they usually give you a ship, and um, he did. So, good. All right, I'm going to settle over here. Um, so in order to build spice and farms and stuff, you need to build on this green land, the fertile land. And you can build norias to, like, expand the green land. Um, these things called norias. Um, but, uh, you know, this island was so freaking awesome because look at how goddamn fertile it was everywhere and leaf just took it and he's a dick so bummer um let's see we don't have quite enough citizens we're going to want to expand our citizen count a little bit here and i'm going to continue to explore over and around see where we can get and i will settle right here as well yeah, that's probably a good place. So this is your settlement. It's astounding what you can do. Ah, you venture. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Thanks for sealing my island. I'm going to be pretty salty about that, I think. For Anyone who comes in <laughs> peace is welcome in the Orient. All right, so uh, I'm going to put a cut in the video here, actually. It's been about um, 25 minutes, so... Well, 20-ish, 20 20-something minutes. Um, so we'll continue to expand our town of Goldford over here into a thriving metropolis. And um, next time, we'll probably come back and start building um, some nomads down here and um, see what we can get done with them. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the Donna Discovery Randa action, Hoy. please like the video. And if you'd like to see more from me, then uh, go ahead and Another subscribe. I, has I, would an I would love it if you subscribe. Well... Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.